What's up my movers and shakers? I'm Dave, this is MS Paints, and this is Christmas. I'm putting this shit off right away. Cat drool on it. How have you managed that? Christmas is one of those magical times of the year where like when a new Pringles flavor comes out or there's a new Ip Man movie or... That's all I've got. People come together, they brave the cold weather and they embrace with a sense of giving and join together to see another year draw to a close. I'm blessed that I live in York, which is normally a pretty lovely city anyway, but at Christmas time, all the lights go up all that Dickensian shit gets cranked up to 11, all the sweet shops appear out of fucking nowhere, and people travel from all over the country to visit our tap fair. But there's a global pandemic on. So fuck the people, forget the tap fair, and we'll lock myself inside, watch myself some Christmas movies with Health and Safety Frog. Hey look, it's the bear! Who's driving that? It's the bear! <laughs> and I'm gonna paint some minis. But this year is a little different. I mean, I get minis every year, but you know, this time a total stranger has done the gifting. Stranger! Stranger! That's right, I am secret Santa in it with other hobby YouTubers. So let's see what I got, let's see how I'm gonna paint it, and if there's time, and hopefully there will be, I'm gonna talk about what 2022 is gonna bring for the MS Paints channel. Firstly, thanks to Frontier Wargaming for this absolute baller of a painting case. I packed up my basics from the studio and took them home, set myself up in the 90s themed office. And cracked on some tunes. Right, what we got? Nope. Nope. Oh, oh. no, no. Classic, that'll do. Right, so what we got in here? Pickle Jar says, I have got a guest who sent me my package out of the group of people involved. And I think I might be able to figure it out. This guy has left me a couple of clues. Thanks, buddy. I'm assuming that he's referring to my channel and not the penis enlarger that I got from AliExpress. Oh, I see meatball colored metal paint. That's novel. And Broodlord. Broodlord. He knows me. I don't know how, but he knows me. One sprue, big chunky bits, and probably only a handful of different colors. Crazy crafter, you just got yourself on the Christmas card list. So I am depressingly short on time for this guy, so I'm jumping straight in with a base coat of contrast paints over a Bobby Basic Xenophil highlight. And I've never used Turbo Dope before, so I'm gonna throw this on early doors to see what it actually looks like and I think I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of the colour at least, having used Vallejo Metallics for so long every time I use a thick metallic paint. Like this, I'm not entirely sure what to do with myself. Those Vallejo Metallics just kind of fall out the bottle onto your miniature, whereas this stuff is kind of like treacle. We're taking home such a limited stock of paints. I mean, I say limited. No tricks here, no gimmicks, no lethal shit that will poison me. Just nifty acrylics. And aptly, this is the first time I'm using an army painter set that I got last Christmas. Now, army painter, you and I need to have a conversation about these paints. Some of them are good, some of them are bad and some of them kind of have the consistency of what comes out of Mamba's nose every time he's got a cold. Now, I know you're supposed to shake the shit out of these and then open it up and expel some discharge. And then you put the cap back on and then you shake them some more and then you try to paint with them, but this is absolutely nuts. I know you're probably thinking, if it's coming out like that, I'm probably not shaking it enough, but take it from me, I'm a man that knows how to shake. And these guys, Need a lot of shaking. Now we'll see if the paint quality gets better as my MS and my shakes get worse. That would be an interesting graph, wouldn't it? I'm working my way up through the blues and I gotta say, I'm having a pretty zen time here. This isn't really a style of painting I go for these days. I'm always trying to find ways generally to circumnavigate future debilitations and limitations. So while I used to paint this way, I've crossed a lot of it off the list 
fairly early. But for now, while I'm able to, I figure I can just enjoy it while I can. And I think I'm gonna treat myself. It is Christmas after all, I'm gonna job out on the base and go for a sterling mud, I think, nice and easy. Yeah, I do normally find convoluted ways to add another like eight years onto the time it takes my miniatures to be turned around with the bases. And this is just kind of nice to do. Not that I'm shooting on anyone that does this normally, it's just always my bases have been my thing. For the green, again, I'm gonna work my way up the spectrum, contrast based, highlight, highlight, and edge. I did think about how to do a tutorial for this guy, what to do, what to talk about, how to make it interesting, but damn, there's an app that pretty much teaches everyone how to paint this way. And there's a hundred guys on YouTube who teach it better than me too, so. And I can't really think of what to gear it towards, so. I think I'm just gonna sit here and talk for a bit, to be honest, because I'm pretty fucking knackered. So I'm gonna reflect on this last year a little bit and what's coming up in the future because it has been a pretty uh, crazy year for MS Paints, really. We moved into a brand new studio space in the same building as my music studio, which is pretty fucking handy. I got to meet some awesome new people in the hobby and the YouTube community. I learned way more about cameras and filming than I ever expected to, going out and shooting for fun, shooting for work and shooting for the channel. This neuroplasticity shit is, is like legit, I think. Not just, you know, it's not just one of those things that Joe Rogan talks about that's, that's, that's not real. Started work on two miniature slash movie crossover projects, which is handy because I do both. One project for a kids TV show, which as I'm writing myself this script at 4.30 in the morning, I'm uploading the final audio tracks and After Effects compositions to the editor. That's been a lot of fun and there is a video on the way about that, like how I built the models, how I shot the models, how I comped the models afterwards, and then layering sound design on. And at the same time, I've been building a Lovecraft-themed Eldritch Chaos Gate thing. And that should be finished at the start of January again. There's a whole video about that. And then that's going over to a studio in Leeds to get filmed for a guy in the States. And I think the studio they're using is actually the one that Jackie Chan and Donnie Yen were in for like Ip Man 5 or something. And of course, as my patrons know, we got some sweet MS Paints merch on the way. That boy Hector absolutely knows his worth. But most importantly, I helped kickstart a hobby community which I didn't think I would ever find. And no, this isn't a hey, come and join my Patreon, absolutely immediately support the channel, etc, etc, etc call out. I just wanted to take a moment to once again thank the wonderful people in the MS Paints community who help support this channel and keep it going. It's you guys that help keep me focused on the channel, keep it on the right track, and keep reinforcing this message that this hobby is absolutely for everyone. Yeah, so I did get a little bit off topic there, but I'm just gonna real quickly re-rail this train. So a little glaze here and a little bit of dry brushing there. And I'd say we're golden or silver or bronze, maybe tin. He's not gonna win any awards, but that doesn't matter. Winning things is for like horses and greyhounds and footballers. What matters is that I've managed to paint something at home without the cat destroying it, for he does so love to destroy things. What's your fucking problem? Hey? Eh? Come here, come here. Say hello to the people then, go on. Go in here, look, who's that? Who's that? It you? This is why I don't record at home. This is why I don't do anything at home. It's just this constantly. You're either sat there, or you're breaking shit, aren't you? Why don't you just get it over with and go for a shit? Just go for a shit. With that in mind, I wish all of you filthy animals a Merry Christmas. Cheers. I'm gonna go to bed. Merry Christmas, Mr. Wayne. Merry Christmas, Albert. Good will toward men. And bats. All I want for Christmas is the freaking bat. <laughs>